So Paul and I just bought a new house and that house happens to be on four wheels. So we get a lot of people coming up and asking us to take a tour, knocking on the door to check it out. So we figured instead of inviting strangers into our house, we were gonna refer them to this video. So this is our official van tour. We have a 2020 uh, Travado 59KL and we happen to have the National Park Foundation Edition, which just means it comes with a couple of Cool extra features. Let's start with the front. We have the Goodrich all-terrain tires which are a special feature of the National Park Foundation Edition and these are great because they let us kind of travel on those dirty bumpy roads uh, that has helped us out a lot when we're like going to the beach and stuff so it's been great. It also comes with the Sumo Springs which if you haven't tried them you definitely should because they make the ride a lot smoother. It's kind of like a shock absorber. The van itself is 21 feet which has been great because it pretty much fits in a standard parking spot, which means that we can drive into major cities or towns, parallel park, and binge eat our favorite vegan food. Right, babe? Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's been great. So it comes with the standard hookups you'd see in an RV, but honestly, we hardly use those because we boondock, meaning we don't ever hook up. Have we hooked up once since we got the van? No, we've had it for like two months and we haven't needed to hook up once and I'll tell you why. Just some cool uh, more features of the car. Paul almost got hit by a car so we are not going to show you that side of the van but I'll let you know we have all of the hookups you would find in a typical RV, water, electric, um, which actually we don't really use because we boondock most of the time meaning we don't ever hook up into city water line or electric and we can do that because of the sweet features of the coat. We also have the uh, black tank, which is where all of the poop and pee goes, and the gray tank, which is where all of the water from the faucets go. But uh, we subscribe to you know, 24 hour gyms, so we mostly use those for number twos and number threes. Don't ask what number threes are. All right, so more features. Um, have a nice ledge where we can hook up the pooch here on our little hook. We decided to go with the glass sliding windows because they're nice and tinted so I can get changed without getting arrested. Uh, the acrylic windows, they're clear and they pop out. We didn't like them so much because they scratch easily. And with these, you can still drive and someone can uh, lay in the back with the windows open, which I don't do, Mom, I promise. Let's see, uh, comes with outdoor speakers in case you want to have a dance party. We have a bike rack on the back. We'd like to kind of just park and explore all the areas that we are checking out. So this is really nice to have. We have a ladder in case you're vertically challenged like my husband and you want to feel taller than everyone around you. <clears throat> and up on the roof we have uh, some uh, solar panels. Uh, which really they don't make too big of a difference because we have a huge uh, lithium battery pack. So the solar is really just a drop in, you know, a huge lake of unlimited power, which we'll get to in a little bit. And we also have an AC unit uh, that's pretty efficient up there as well. Some nice decals, um, a hookup for an extra solar panel that again came with a National Park Foundation edition. And we have a pretty cool awning here. It's really cool when it comes out. It's got uh, lighting and everything. So let's check out her insides. So it comes with a roll left screen, which has been great. Uh, older versions of the van came with that slide out screen, which can get caught uh, on the door and it tears pretty easily. This is really nice because it has a magnetic strip on it. So you can come in and out pretty easy. And if you want to roll it up, you just zip it up and it rolls up. Say hey, buddy. <laughs> Stay. Good boy. All right, come on inside. So the Travados come with two different floor plans. This floor plan is the K model, which means it comes with two separate twin beds, which I like because Paul is a huge blanket student. Right, babe? I'm not. I think you are. Guilty as charged. So it's been great because, uh, I don't know, I sleep really well. The beds are comfortable and they have some nice kind of pseudo springs underneath them. So it's actually a pretty comfortable night's rest, I think. Uh, we have a TV here for binge watching Star Wars, uh, Jensen that has Bluetooth, radio, again we have indoor speakers and outdoor speakers. And coming back to the rear, 
we have these anything keepers which come with the national park foundation edition which i didn't think i would use that much but i actually use all the time uh for phones keys shark teeth so i'm in the bathroom right now uh pretty nice toilet um again we only use it for number ones mostly because we go to anytime fitness which is a 24-hour gym you have access to it nationwide and so we do most of our most of our bathing and our bathroom needs in there uh, we have a nice pop out sink which honestly we hardly use because it dumps into the black tank so you'll fill up your black tank faster than you would normally pretty nice medicine cabinet here for our toiletries and what I like about this is we have a nice big uh, cabinet here to keep our shoes, our clothes, and uh, some pretty deep drawers for all of your junk. Also under the bed, I forgot to mention, some really nice storage as well on the side. So here are our electric panels uh, for the inverter. Here this gives you our tank levels, so your fresh water, propane, gray and black tanks. We have Truma heating system here, so it gives you on-demand hot water and heating for the coach, and you can select between electric heating or uh, propane heating. Um, and here we can just choose what voltage we, uh, what amperage we want to use. Um, moving forward, we have our uh, air conditioner here. Again, it's pretty efficient and pretty quiet, and we have a uh, max air fan here. Uh, that is a ventilation which kind of gets out some of the hot air which is nice to use because this runs on the 12 volt system so you don't need to have the inverter on for it. Uh, here's our kitchen. We have a two burner stove, a convection oven, uh, and actually a really deep fridge. We were worried about the fridge size in this model but it really holds quite a bit and a nice deep uh, freezer compartment as well. And our sink here as well. This is my pride and joy. This is our Berkey filter. For those of you that don't have one and are living in a van, I highly recommend it. It's the best filter there is out there. Um, and we use it every day. Now about the electric system in the van. So as I was saying before, we have a huge lithium battery pack and the National Park Foundation comes with even more lithium. Uh, which for us uh, has uh, been a game changer, especially having a dog in the van, being in Florida over the summer. Hopefully we'll get out of Florida soon, uh, but in the summer we need to run the AC a lot and lithium really helps us with that. So with that said, this is our uh, Pure 3 system. This is the state of charge. It's nice because when we're driving down the highway, there's an alternator in the front that will then charge the lithium uh, battery pack and we haven't had any issues. We can run the AC all day, all night, and just drive or um, manually recharge the uh, van. One other feature that's really nice is it has uh, an auto start system. Uh, where, is it auto start or volt start? I don't know, one of them is for road trek and one of them is for Winnebago. But what it does is it will monitor your battery and when your state of charge gets too low, it'll automatically turn the engine into a high idle, which will recharge the lithium. So this is why we don't really hook into any uh, shore power because we're pretty self-sufficient here. We are digital nomads, so we make all of our money online. We're totally remote. So we need to have some good workstations. So we can turn around the chair here, flip out the desk. And it's actually pretty comfortable. You can set up a desk. Uh, sorry, you can set up a laptop. That's the word I'm looking for. The rest of the front is pretty much what you would expect out of a Dodge Promaster chassis, which is what it's built on. The rest of the van on top of it is built out by Winnebago. So if you have any specific questions or want to hear more, uh, just uh, drop a comment below, smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.